So now we will discuss the last uh, communication model which is uh, here present which is the exclusive pair communication model. Okay. So the exclusive pair model is very much similar to the client server request response model. Okay. It has uh, two or three major differences which separates it from that uh, request response model but the basic mechanism of operation is the same. Here also in the exclusive pair model it consists of two parties client and the server. The client is the one which has requirement or need of any particular data or information. Okay, it is the data consumer and server is the storehouse or reservoir of data or information. Okay, it is the data provider. It is not the data generator or data producer. It is just the storehouse of data. Okay. Now, here similar to the request response model, uh, the client when it requires any particular data or information it sends a request to the server so this you can understand i have already discussed it in the request response model communication model video also that we can understand this model which is very uh, similar to the online search engine okay when we type a particular keyword or a sentence or a phrase anything on the internet and we press the search button various uh, information or data is uh, comes in our uh, computer screen or mobile screen or smartphone screen whatever so that is the request response model okay we are the client we require a particular data or information on a particular topic we type that on the search engine, we press the search button, the server, it receives the request, okay, which is the keyword that we have searched or whatever which we have searched, it serves as the request to the client, it acts as a request from the client to the server. The server upon receiving that request, it searches, it's a... Uh, uh, the, the storehouse okay where the data is located what uh, kind of information is required so it gathers all the data that is related and relevant to the thing which we have searched and it sends that on our device means it appears on our screen so that is the uh, request response model which is the also the mechanism of uh, things in the exclusive pair model but the difference is that in the request response model it was a stateless model okay a stateless model the request response model was a stateless model and each request response pair was independent it means that uh, in that request response model it was not necessary or compulsory that the previous connection had to be terminated okay there was no such condition but here in the exclusive pair model it was a, it is a stateful communication model and each request response pair is dependent it means that each uh, each 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 communication uh, transaction it has to be terminated only then the other request will be accepted okay so it is obviously it is a fully duplex bi-directional uh, communication model duplex means that uh, communication can take place between the client and server in both directions simultaneously okay and uh, so this this is the way in which we can understand the uh, exclusive pair model first a request is sent from the client for a particular data or information which means it is the request to set up the communication link so that the data or information has can be received 
the server receives the request and uh, grants acceptance for the required data or information and to set up the communication link this is the sequence of operations then the data or message whatever is required that keyword or whatever it is typed and it is searched then upon receiving that request the server gathers all the requests uh, related information it uh, does not have to be exact but all the files all the website links images videos audios whatever it uh, uh, it gathers all that information which matches that particular keyword or whatever thing is typed and it sends to the client then again there is another request to close the connection okay and then another response is, uh, uh, is sent from the server to the client to uh, acknowledge that the connection is terminated now the difference between the request response and the exclusive pair model lies in these two uh, at the top and these two at the bottom request to set up the communication link and the acceptance of that and to terminate the communication link and the acceptance of that that is not present in the uh, request response model because that there it is independent and it is a stateless communication model but here it is dependent and only when the previous connection is terminated a new connect connection link can be set up okay so this is the difference between the request response model and the exclusive pair model so i would recommend you to please watch those previous communication model videos that i have posted about the request response the publish subscribe the push pull uh, and uh, this this is the exclusive pair model so you please watch those previous videos so that you understand this uh, concept in a better way so here we have discussed about the exclusive pair model okay and we have completed all of these communication models so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much